Hey guys, this is going to be another quick Linux command video. Check the link in the description for more info and for copy and paste examples. The Linux patch command can be used to apply a diff file or a patch to a ri an original file. So, for example, let's say if you have two files, um, let's say diff hello.js and hello2.js. So you see there's some differences between these two files. Now you can create a patch file that will contain all the differences between these and then you can later apply that patch file to this and it will it will um, take all the differences and just change them in this file. You could then distribute that patch file which only contains the differences and apply it on other hosts or you can give it to other people and they can apply it themselves. So let, let's uh, show you how to uh, create a patch. So you would say um, you can go like this and uh, redirect the output into my fix dot patch, right? So this is going to be our patch file right here. So just run that. Now we can look inside there, my fix dot patch. So this is the patch and it contains information about the diff and we can use that as a patch to patch the file. Now, let's just confirm right now, we, we can show you that these two files are still different, they have differences. So we, we can now say patch and read in my fix. So we're gonna run the patch command and we're gonna use the lesser than sign and then say the name of the patch that we created. And run that and it says patching file hello.js so it knows which file it's supposed to patch in the current directory and now let's try diffing those two files and we can confirm that they're going to be the same now so diff them no differences we've applied the patch to that first file so we basically we, we uh, took the differences between the two files and we uh, put that into a patch then we applied the patch to the original file basically applying all the changes you would need to make it the same as the second file now, another interesting thing you can do is reverse the patch. You, you can remove the patch, setting it back to its original state. So you, you can go like this. You can just add a dash capital R to reverse the patch. So patching file hello.js. Now, if we want to diff these two files, we can confirm they're different now. So we've removed the patch and those files are now different. So that's pretty useful. Now, another thing you could do, if you were patching these files, you can, let's, let's see here, patch, if you wanted to apply the patch, remove the dash R, right? Now you can say dash B to tell it to back up your file before you patch it. So let's patch the file, we've patched it, right? I'm gonna run diff just to verify, see, no differences. Now, let's see here, ls dash LTR, and notice it created a hello.js ridge. So this is the backup. All right, so the other thing that I wanted to cover is applying a patch to a specific file. So if you didn't want to, uh, like for example here, if we don't want to apply the patch to hello.js, um, let's specify hello-b.js. Now those are basically the same file. So diff hello.js versus hello2.js is going to give you some differences, but if you say uh, dash b, they're the same file. So let's try applying the patch to, uh, so by default it's going to apply our patch to hello.js. Let's just specify hello-b.js. So you can say patch, <clears throat> um, actually let's diff, all right, diff hello.js um, hello-b.js first, just to show you, hello2.js. So these are different in the way you would expect. So let's let's try patching this. Patch, and then we're going to specify the file we want to patch instead of the default hello.js. We're going to say hello-b.js, right? So we're going to patch that, and we are going to use my pat, my fix dot patch. So patch it, and now if we if we go to uh, diff these they're the same, so it's been patched. Now, the other thing you could do is apply that patch, and you can also specify an output file. So you can say dash O, and let's just let's just call it um, test.js, and there we go. So the patch, all right, read from reverse or, 
All right, so you know what? I, I should probably set that back before I attempt to do that, just so it's not confusing. All right, patch um, R. Okay, there we go. Now, these two are different, so let's go ahead and apply that patch. Let, we're going to apply, um, so we're going to apply myfix.patch to hello-b.js, but the output file is going to be test.js. So let's apply the patch, and there we go. So patching file test.js, read from hello-b.js. So we're, we're taking what's in here, we're going to patch that, but write the results out to test.js. So if we say, if we diff hello b and hello 2, those are going to be still different. But if we diff test.js, those are the same. And that file didn't exist before I ran that, that last patch command. And let's see here, I think that's everything that I wanted to, yeah, that's everything I wanted to cover with the patch command. So those are the basics of using a patch command, and this should pretty much get you uh, up and running with the uh, patch command. So this goes along well with the diff command, which I covered in a previous video. Remember, check the links in the description for more info. Hit the subscribe button for more useful content like this. We also have a ton of other more interesting content covering things like coding, hardware, software, servers, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, and a whole lot more. Hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.